In this video today, we're gonna look at some of the worst neighborhoods kind of within the city of Kitchener, some areas to avoid if you are considering a move here. It isn't really a video topic that I like to cover, obviously looking at you know the worst of things, but it's something that I get asked quite a bit when people are looking to relocate here to Kitchener, Ontario, was what are the areas I should avoid when looking to move here? And like just like any other city, there's better areas and there's worst areas. And in today's video, we're gonna look at some of the worst areas and we're gonna look at I guess the least worst all the way to the worst of uh, Kitchener, Ontario, looking at the crime statistics. And we'll start off here, number one here, we'll look at Vanier and Kingsdale. Sometimes they are combined together. I refer to it more as Vanier. Some people refer to more as Kingsdale. As you can see on the map here, it's just north of Fairview Park Mall, the more the largest mall here within Kitchener, Ontario, and the crime severity index is going to be about 27% more crime than you typically find within Kitchener, Ontario. It is what it is, right? I mean, usually what I find in this particular neighborhood here is this area here closest to Fairview Park is going to be worse than on the outskirts here on this side near Wilson Park, this is gonna be slightly better. Is it the worst place in the world? No, certainly not. I mean, there's great people that live there too, but it's something to be cognizant of if you are looking to move here to Kitchener, Ontario, is sometimes, you know, you just wanna be well aware of what, what are the best and worst spots. Moving on to the next one here, this is gonna be Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill is located just northwest of downtown Kitchener. Um, very close to Victoria Hills, another one that we're gonna highlight a little bit later on. And the crime here is about 29% higher than you'd typically find within Kitchener. I mean, the benefit of this location is you are close to downtown Kitchener and you are close to Victoria Park, the main park here within Kitchener. You have Victoria Park Lake. You got all the convenience of it being downtown. You're near the LRT. It is getting better, in fact, the closer you are to downtown, right? You have Garment Street right here, a new development happening right there. You know, you have the tech center right here, just outside of Cherry Hill. So definitely one thing to consider here is, is Cherry Hill. It's not, it's not the worst place in the world, in fact, right? And the next one we're gonna look at here is the downtown districts. It's made out of three different areas. The market district is 33% higher than you'd find typically. The center district, which is here, kind of in the downtown core, that's going to be 31% higher in terms of the crime statistics. And finally, if we look at the city commercial core, again, it's all kind of in this location, which I'll highlight later, is uh, around 29% higher than you'd find typically within Kitchener. And yeah, you know what? Downtown Kitchener can be better. It is getting better over time. Certainly, it's much better than it was 10, 15 years ago, even five years ago. There is one area I'd like to highlight. Unfortunately, like many other cities within, within Canada, in fact, is we do have a homeless problem. This happens, I'm finding, with almost Almost every city within Canada. It's very unfortunate, but I'd have to highlight it within this video. There is um, a homeless encampment here right near the Kitchener Go station. It's been cleared out before by the, the police and the authorities, but they do end up coming back. It, it's very unfortunate that, you know, we do live in a time where people are homeless and there, there's drugs involved and whatnot. And I wish, you know, we could get some help for these people and, and hopefully get more and more people off of the street into suitable accommodation but that's just one area to highlight it is this area right here it kind of spills over kind of in this area just on the south side of it you, you will see homeless people it, it is what it is right on the whole i don't find downtown kitchener that bad or at least it's getting much better than what it used to be you don't see as i have never really seen any crime in downtown kitchener you know, pickpockets or anything like that. I think it's still relatively safe, but you know what? It, it is one of the, the worst off areas here. Moving on to Cedar Hill, kind of part of downtown Kitchener, just on the south then end. We're looking at crime rates here, 31% higher than you'd find in Kitchener. And you know what? Yeah, Cedar Hill is uh, just west of downtown Kitchener. It is getting much better though. There's a lot of new developments uh, going on. There's a new proposal uh, within this area here that will see the largest buildings here 
within not only Kitchener, but the Waterloo region at 57 stories and 52 stories, which is frankly Toronto-like. I mean, I couldn't really believe that at, at, at first that we'd have 57 stories building in here in such a small town like Kitchener. But um, definitely one area to highlight here, the Cedar is, is getting better in my opinion, but I mean, it's still one place to highlight that, you know, you maybe want to avoid, right? If you can afford to live somewhere else. With that being said, I get calls from people just like you looking to move here to Kitchener, Ontario. And if that's you, you can certainly book a call with me in the first link in the description or call, text, or email. Moving on to the next one here, we're gonna look at Southdale. Now Southdale is uh, on the western side of Kitchener, just south of St. Mary's Hospital, one of two hospitals here within Kitchener. And one thing to highlight about this area is it's definitely getting better. I don't find it as bad as what the crime statistics indicate. Uh, it's 31% higher than you'd find in most areas within Kitchener. But on the northern bounds, I find it's better you're getting uh, a different demographic than you'd find on the Southern bounds, just because you are closer to St. Mary's Hospital. You do have higher incomes there with you know nurses and doctors working there, but it's definitely one area to highlight. And another thing, if you're looking at the map here, you can see this red dotted line that goes around the area of Southdale, but I'd like to include this area as well, as it's been included as Forest Hill, but it, it's nothing like Forest Hill, to be honest with you. It's gonna be very similar to Southdale, similar crime rates, and that's this area right here. And it's one thing to be cognizant of, but there has been a lot of new development within this area from people looking to create duplexes here because the housing stock does really accommodate for this type of housing as most of this will be back splits, bungalows and raised bungalows, which are ideal, right? You have the side entrance in order to go right down to the basement and you'll have an equal square footage on both the top and the bottom. So you might have three bedrooms on the top unit and two bedrooms on the bottom unit and people usually renovate the entire thing and, and there's a new demo graphic going in there. Moving on to the next area here, we're going to go west of Cherry Hill, one area we did highlight earlier, and that is Victoria Hills. Victoria Hills, probably the, one of the worst neighborhoods within Kitchener. You're 31% higher than you'd find within Kitchener. And there's certain areas that are worse than most. I find Eastern, like this side of Victoria Hills is worse than the Western side of Victoria Hills. There's gonna be more higher density housing and maybe that has something to do with it. But Victoria Hills has always been this way in terms of the, the crime rates. And it's been you know like that for 40, 50 years since this has really been built out. I find the Western side a little bit better, maybe more some more property theft and whatnot, property crime in terms of break-ins. But yeah, that that's pretty much Victoria Hills. Is it the worst place in the world? Definitely not. Kitchener on the whole is a pretty safe city. And finally, the worst place within Kitchener, Ontario is gonna be Chandler and Moat, and that's gonna be this area here. If you look a little bit further out on the map, it's pretty much kind of central west, right? We're just west. You have great connection to Highway 8, and that's this area right here I'll highlight on the map. This is gonna be Chandler and Moat here. There is a new development though, which I'll highlight in blue here, which is coming out. And these are gonna be new condo units, and those are for purchase rather for, for rent. So maybe it will get better in this neighborhood over time. But as of right now, it's one place I definitely wouldn't buy in myself just because of such high crime rates. Even in this neighborhood here, like if you're on the eastern side and you're looking at, you know, towards Alpine, you're better off in, in that location. And funny fact, I my first job was right here back in the day. This is uh, Zare's Laurentian back when I used to work in the meat department. So that's just a little fun fact, 15, 16 years old. So yeah, it's, it's, you know, on the whole, it's not the best area in the world, but definitely if you are considering a move here to the Waterloo region, you want a better opinion on what area to move, what area to avoid. And if that's you, you can certainly book a call with me in the first link in the description or call, text, or email.